another week in my life, okay? So, <laughs> I'm very happy right now because I just ordered some Chipotle. When I tried it for the first time, I was like 14. Like back in high school, I remember I had tried it with my best friend and we had got like chicken. I honestly can't remember what I got, but I know I got chicken and it wasn't all that good. So I never got it again. And when I be doing like Uber Eats and DoorDash and stuff, it's always packing Chipotle. Like everybody always ordering Chipotle. So I begged my shorty to give me some Chipotle and we ended up getting it like the week before last. And bro, it was so good. I don't know why I'm telling this story, but it was so good. So I was craving it while I was out earlier. My mouth was literally watering thinking about it. So I just ordered some Chipotle for us. I'm so ready. So it's currently 9.06. I have to pick it up by 9.22. Then after that, I'm gonna stop by the bank. I gotta take some money out because I gotta be able to pay. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my throat. I'm not sick. I'm getting together. I probably need some water. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the bank after I pick up the food and then I'm going to his house. And we eat. That's all we do is eat. Literally, if I'm not cooking, we ordering something and we eat. I want to ship these orders off tomorrow. I have four orders in total that I need to fulfill, but I'm only going to ship three out because the last one came in today. She had ordered squeeze soup wholesale and she had, she had purchased her samples and she sent me an email. Mine has been everywhere, so I forgot to respond, but she had ended up emailing me saying that she liked the samples and she was gonna order some. That was literally last week. Today, this morning, I woke up to an email. She had placed the order. So I got that to do. And then I got three returning customers. The other orders are from three returning customers. My girl, she ordered some more retail glosses and then my other two customers ordered lip scrub. I feel like I'm probably gonna end up staying over there. So I might have to just come back home early. But I'm at the bank. I got my Chipotle and I got I got the ice cream. I need to put it in my bag. Wait, is the ATM not on? Look what I come home to. This is what I've been waiting on. Now I can finish my orders. So I got the scrubs made up. And I got cotton candy back there. I'm about to go ahead and fill these jars and then pack these orders up and ship them off today. I got the orders ready. I'm about to go ahead and drop them off right now. It's four orders. I just left the post office there. Am I weird for coming all the way down here? I mean, it's not like um extremely far away. I definitely passed by two post offices to come to this one just because they have a thing and I could just drop them off. Really, I don't have to talk to anybody. And the one that's like closer by me, that man, he be, he be weird sometimes. And I don't have time to deal with the weirdness. So if I ain't got no boxes, I'll go to the one closer. But if I have boxes, I'll come to this one. I don't know if that's weird, but some people's energy just be off and I don't want to deal with it. So I'd rather come farther away. So now I'm about to probably ride back up my way and see if I can make some money outside. Hopefully some people want some food or some groceries because I do have stuff that I can do in the house, but I don't want to be in the house. Like it feels good outside, it's like 60 something. I'd rather be outside making money. And since it's not busy right now, I'm about to send out these tracking numbers because I don't have nothing to do right now. Oh yes, you look look at that. I love that post office. They didn't already scan everything in. So yeah, let me go ahead and add these tracking numbers. I really want a smoothie right now or um a frosted lemonade and I'm literally by Chick-fil-A. Hmm. Do y'all like the um leave in the comments if you tried it or not? But do y'all like the, the frost lemonade from Chick-fil-A? I think it's pretty good. I know this person is about to be hyped though because she had just ordered last night. It hasn't even been 24 hours and I had already shipped her order. What time she ordered last night? 
she ordered at 9 14 last night and i shipped that out around 12 something so i'm about to be on my way to food lion i got one two customers um 33 dollars and i don't like shopping for produce unless it's for myself they didn't get a lot of produce so i'm happy about this order i'm about to go ahead and do this it's 229 i'll probably be done like close to four so yeah. all right so i got the bags in here I made sure I got my evidence, okay? Because it's usually the apartments. Like, the first time that ever happened, which was in the last vlog, that was my first time somebody ever, like, saying they never got their stuff. It happened in an apartment. So, I just wanted to make sure I got my proof because you're not going to play with me. So, now I'm just sitting here waiting to see what else is going to come through. So, it did go down some. When you have to refund items, it does go down a little bit. So, my amount now is like 28 and some change so it only went down a couple dollars not too much i hate when i have to refund stuff though but if they don't got it and they don't want anything for like a substitution then i have to refund it absolutely i enjoy shopping so this app is definitely for me I actually need to go to the grocery store myself because i want to make some spaghetti i took out my ground beef i just need literally everything else except for like my peppers and onions did my first huge costco order and all of this is freaking 30 dollars 30 dollar costco run maybe the way i am sweating right now oh my gosh i did not have to go far from costco but i am tired um so I'm going to put that order on the screen so y'all can see exactly how much it was. I feel like it wasn't, it wasn't like really bad. The man actually came outside and helped me. He had brought his dolly out and all I had to do was put the waters on the dolly and that was it. Then I just put the other stuff on the porch. So it wasn't too bad. He was very sweet. Um, yeah, I'm about to see what else I can get. So we up 30 right now. I feel like, you know, if... The orders keep coming in. I feel like I can reach 100 plus today. I booked my hair appointment earlier, so I'm already treating myself to a hair appointment. I get my hair done on the 20th. Signature style is the straight back braids. I chose to do 10 of those, and then I'm gonna get like some beads at the end. You know, add a little bedazzle. It'll be faster for me to get out the house, okay? Because doing this mess, you take it forever. Next day now, I'm about to go ahead and do this order real quick. I got my air fryer going because I'm making me some breakfast. I'm gonna do some for y'all. And then I'm gonna get some content for my Instagram. This customer had purchased some samples. I think now it's been like two weeks. She purchased these two samples and this is all that she wants for a wholesale order. So I'm very excited to fulfill this because it's different, y'all know. If you've been here, you've been watching the vlogs, then I'm usually just getting all new gloss orders. So I'm so happy to do this order because it's something different. And she also got squeeze tubes clear top squeeze too so very excited about this so let's go ahead and start filling these two i'm not gonna show my face because my hair is not <laughs> my hair is not good right now i literally woke up took my shower i had to get clean brush my teeth and all that got my breakfast going now i'm about to work so after i finish this i'm gonna do my hair and stuff so yesterday yesterday went really really good i ended up making 107 
So the red one is top notch and then the purple one is HBIC. A sample should be available for these two glosses. Child, I am slacking because I definitely need to restock my samples. And so I'm gonna fill these back up real quick and do some more with y'all and then we'll be done. I'm gonna get my content for my Instagram and then I'll be done. I'm gonna put the tops on and stuff and go ahead and pack this up. I am ready to eat, okay. So this is my breakfast, blueberry bagels with blueberry cream cheese. This is how I like my eggs and I got some bacon. And then gotta make sure you take the vitamins. So these are the vitamins that I take. And of course, got the water. All right, I gave them a good wipe down. Hope y'all enjoyed that little filling bit. It's raining, as y'all can see. We got the package. We got the pink bag today. I ordered this so long ago. Where is my lip gloss? Wait, y'all can see the dryness? Here's the transformation. Boom. Get you some, okay? Get you some lip gloss from me. We have a bunch of glosses available. Guaranteed to find something you'll like and you'll love the smooth consistency. Nice, sticky, and very glossy, okay? Very glossy. Had to promote my products. Okay, so yeah, I'm about to go drop this package off and then I'm gonna see if I can get some orders. I currently have Uber Eats on and Instacart. You can basically say, I said F DoorDash and I went to Instacart. Instacart replaced DoorDash, I guess, because I don't really, I haven't did a DoorDash order in months. So, it stopped raining though. Um, $42 so it's, it's definitely a good amount of money it's three people three different folks 6.6 .6 miles so it's not far 45 items and I think I only have to lift two cases of water and that's for just one customer and then of course they got some sodas and stuff but it's 45 items in total it's 415 right now so I don't know like <laughs> I really want to do this $42 is good though because that means I'm guaranteed to reach 100 plus today as well. I might even make more today. So let's just, let's go. Let's go. We're going to food line. So I probably, if I remember, because when I get in my Instacart shopping mood, I forget to like record. I'll be just trying to get done and get out. So I probably won't even record in there. But if I remember, I'll show y'all like how my car look once I get done, put everything in. Tired. So we got the car loaded up. So I ended up having to get three waters. I thought it was just two, but it's okay. So the white bags are all the second customer stuff. Then I got the first customer stuff right there. And then she got two waters, which are right there. And then the other blue bags are for the third customer. 
and she got this stuff right here. So I'm about to take a picture of these receipts and then I'm about to be on my way to drop them off. Just finished dropping off the last order and it is 6.26. Your girl is tired, okay? But that's done. So I did have to refund a couple items. I want to say I only refunded like, like three items. And I think it was 42 before and now it's forty dollars because of the refund items i have my uber app back on now and still have my instagram app on so we're gonna see what else we can get like i said it's 6 27 so um it's dinner time so hopefully some folks is hungry and they want some food because it's friday as well it's friday and this is a money maker friday so we're gonna see we're gonna see if i don't reach a hundred I'm gonna be kind of sad, but I'll be all right. But I need to figure out what I'm gonna eat. Started raining again, raining kind of hard, but I'm at Outback. I'm doing my first Uber Eats order of the week. This one is currently $11, but sometimes when I get $11 orders, they usually go up. So this one may go up. And it is from Outback. Outback is expensive, so it may go up. But yeah, the guy already came over here and got the name, so I'm just waiting on him to bring the order out. And I'll be on my way to drop it off. And we're gonna see what else come in. So after this, if there's some extra money on it, I'll be at like 51, I think, $51. It's not too bad. Hopefully, once we get done with this order, we can get something else. Maybe like a $20 order or higher. Drink and got the food. Let's go. This is crazy. I'm gonna put it on the screen. It literally just popped up, but I just got a $20 tip. I told y'all that usually when it says $11 on Uber, it ends up being more. This man tipped me $20 and some change. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, I said that I wanted to reach $100 today and I really thought that I could. Like, I thought it was going to be good after I finished that $40 order. And the thing is, I could have reached $100, but I didn't take that Costco order. There was a $30 Costco order, and it wasn't that many items. But I was like, mm, I don't feel like it. So, I passed up on a good order. So, I'm not going to reach 100 tonight. But, um, yeah, he tipped me $20, so... I think it should be like $23, $23 in total for that order. So I guess we gonna end the night with 63. <laughs> but like, I've literally had my Uber app on this whole time. I've been sitting here for a while. I literally just ordered some food. So once my food get done, it says it should be done around like 9, 15, 9, 20 something. So once my food get done, I'm getting my food and I'm going home. I guess I'm going home because there's nothing else to do like people are not ordering nothing and the people that are ordering stuff don't want right, to so we got the hot wings french fries and philly cheese and i got some ranch and an extra ranch because i like to dip my fries in ranch so good i'm about to eat and edit some videos and watch tv so it is now monday I did not vlog the rest of the week. Came out on Sunday, but I didn't end up doing anything. I went back in the house and I did some editing and I did some like very important business stuff. So that's how my Sunday went. But Saturday, Saturday I made a good amount of money. I wanted to be an overachiever and make up for only making $60 on Friday because I really wanted to make a hundred. So um, let me hurry up. So on Saturday, I made $157.71. $146.34 on Instacart and $11.37 on Uber. All the orders that I did on Saturday, they weren't a lot, but they were pretty good in the price range. So the first order that I did was a Costco order. This man ordered eight items, right? He was kind of far, but I feel like he still didn't even have to tip that much. So it started off as a $40 order and he had tipped $30. And I was like, you know what? I'm doing it. I don't care. I'm doing it. It's only eight items. This has to be easy. So he ordered some produce and um, some water and some tissue. So I finished that super fast. And I finished that in five minutes. So he was kind of far. 
but this man tipped me thirty dollars so I was happy. I was happy with the $40. So then I had got a notification on my phone. They said that he ended up tipping more. So I'm thinking he just like added some change or something. I just checked today because I don't be checking anything for real. I just checked like the total amount that I end with and that'd be it. This man changed the freaking tip from $30 to $40. He gave me a $40 tip. And he, all he wanted was eight items. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. Never. So I'm forever grateful for Mr. David, okay? Like, I want to go knock on his door and hug him because I remember where he lived. Nice house. I want to go back and hug him. Like, you didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. So that was the first big order of the day. And then I took a bunch of, like, small orders. I just wanted to, like, be in and out of stores. I didn't want to stay in there for too long. So I was just taking a bunch of, like, small orders and everything as money adds up at the end of the day so that's what i was doing and then my last order i was literally about to go home i think i had already reached 100 yeah i had reached 100 and i was about to go home and then i saw this kroger order pop up and it was three different customers and it said 40 dollars or something so i'm like you know what i'm about to be an overachiever so i took it i think it was like 22 items or something so it wasn't a lot so I did it and that turned out to be $41.31. So on Instagram, I made $146.34. So Saturday was an amazing day. So yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you're trying to make some easy money, you got a car, you don't mind, you know, driving and doing this, sign up for Instacart, Uber Eats. DoorDash may possibly be good in your area, so sign up for that. There's a bunch of gig work apps. So yeah, um, I will see you all in the next video. Back on the grind. I'm out here, I'm about to start the next vlog, I think. Um, so yeah, I will see y'all in the next one.